It's a culmination of over a decade of school, and some of your classmates will talk to you about various obstacles and hopefully uh, fun times that you had in your years here. I want to talk about the, uh, well, the obstacles and the hoops that you've had to uh, maybe jump through, uh, and then maybe give you some hope for the future. I, I know it doesn't sound like me being the pessimist that I am, but uh, we'll see if we can't uh, maybe work out something good for you. I know you've had tests and essays, you've read books that you didn't want to read, Cliff notes that didn't help. Some of you have met A to G requirements, even if you didn't have to meet those. And the last two hoops, community service, hours, and an essay. Well, what a lucky class to have Frau Mack and not Mr. Dubu. And last week, the final hoop. I was lucky enough to sit on senior boards both days. And although I'm not going to go through all of them, there were two. One amazed me and one inspired me. Once again, it's difficult to inspire me. I'm too old. One young man couldn't find the material for his senior project, so he melted his own metal in order to meet the specifications for his remote control tank that had to meet his perfect standards. Nice job, Kyle Hudson. That sounds like an engineer. But one senior impressed me because instead of a job shadow, she impressed the entire board, and I'm going to quote, the only quote you're going to get tonight, from this senior who said, if I'm going to spend 20 hours on a stupid project, I want to do some good. So instead of a job shadow, she volunteered the Placer County SPCA for almost 40 hours of time. And I'm sure she adopted an animal as well. Thank you. Inspirational. I know that many of you think you're done, but tonight's the night. Tonight's the final. There's nothing more to do. Okay. Sorry. You must be joking. The obstacles get larger, and hoops abound everywhere. But I think you're ready, so let me help. I want you to embrace the challenges that you're about to meet. I want you to embrace those challenges with the hard work and effort that you put in these four years here and all the different areas that you were part of. I want you to embrace those challenges, the enthusiasm, the new learning that goes to overcome those challenges. And then, this is most important, the final words you'll hear from me, be passionate. Find a passion in your life, in the military, in college, in your education, in the career that you decide to spend the rest of your life in. That passion will fuel the drive that will make you be successful. And we all want you to be successful. So, good luck with the rest of your lives. You're going to need it. Now we know you, the graduating class of 2016, know Coach Ryan very well and his passions. For instance, I thought he would be speaking from the top of the locker room tonight because there lies his passionate podium. I want that down. I want that. <laughs> and in his classroom, you know that he refers to Teddy carrying the big stick and Andrew Jackson, who let's think is getting removed from the front of the $20 bill. So Mr. Ryan will have to find a new passion. But as you go through that, we all have passions, things we like, things we have to do, but things we get passionate about when we have to do them. Senior Project, as Coach Ryan mentioned, is one of those. We had some excellent ones this year. A beautiful mosaic bust, graffiti art, that's actually on our campus on the back container, if you haven't seen it. And very appropriately, with the return of the Star Wars era this year, we had Max Preston. He was inspired to make a Star Wars helmet. So let's just think. May the Force reawaken you as you start on the next chapter. Big things come from small things. So think big and go on and make it happen. For the opening address, we have a graduate who will speak about stages. It makes sense. She's an actress. She's an honors AP student, member of mock trial. In the fall play, she played a princess who was waiting for her Prince Charming. That actually depresses me. Where are you, Mr. Boards? She found him.
Prince Lancelot and his muscles walking to the stage with her theme song, Baby Get Back. Please welcome Sarah Potter.